Hey, man, what's up with it? What's up with it? What's up with it, man? Hey, look. This is what I want to say. This is what I want to say. This is what I want to say, man. All right. Right now, we got so much going on on the internet. Sitting in the garage, man. Just sitting back, Cadillac and cooling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but say, man, I said, man, you know what? I got something to say, man. It's Sunday, man. Say, man, Sunday is, a, is you know, it's one of them days where you can just relax and just, you know, do a little work around the house, whatever it might be, right? But today, man, I just say, man, I, I, I want to address something, right? And I want to address this here, but at the same time, I want to get, I want y'all to give me some feedback on it. Y'all, I want some real feedback on this, right? Because right now, on the internet, on the in the YouTube world, we got a word that's being used, and it's being used on. I mean, like it's being used like saying, "Hey, hi." It's being used, that, that's how rapid it's being used, right? That word is rat. That word is rat. You a rat. Now you a rat. Now you a rat. Now you a rat. You a rat. You a rat. So I'm standing here, this word being used, you a rat. Now, if you know like I know, those kind of words right there, hey man, you know, people kind of get, people kind of get really just on a whole nother level when you say those types of things, man. You a rat or you an undercover lover, if you know what I mean, right? Those words right there is used to slander and assassinate an individual's character, right? That what that that what that that what that's supposed to be used for. So when I sit back and I'm listening, and I'm trying to figure out like, what makes this individual right? Hmm. What makes this individual right? So as I sit back and I listen to Jay. Prince put his put it out there. Man, yeah, man. You know, woo woo woo. Whack. He a rat. He says so, 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 right? Now I'm listening to the conversation. But now I'm asking myself, man, let's break down what Wack done did to be a rat. Because we really wanna know. Like, like, you know, now if he done some old hoe ass shit that we just can say, say, man, you know, the nigga just be doing hoe shit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with the nigga. You doing hoe shit, my nigga. You, which, which, which when I, when I see, when I see the nigga, man, I'm like, man, the nigga really be on some more shit. But that's him. He on his shit. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, my thing is like, it is what it is. Cause it seems like everybody on some more shit right now, right? We ain't gonna pick and choose who on some more shit and who ain't on no more shit. But we gonna pick and choose if if they a rat or if they not a rat. And we gotta break down the definition of a rat. See, we gotta break down the definition of a rat, a snitch, and all these labels that we throw on people, right? And then come all the way back to Wax saying, say, man, yeah, man, J. Prince a rat, man. J. Prince, he this, he that. What make you say that, my guy? What all of a sudden make you say that J. Prince is a rat? We waiting. You say that you got information to show us that, right? We waiting. And the reason why I say we waiting is because Y'all are part of the y'all have put yourself in a major position in the hip hop culture, homie. In the hip hop culture is what's now controlling the streets, homie. So as we sit back, I'm sitting back and I'm watching and I'm really sitting here laughing and my I'm sitting here laughing like a motherfucker, right? 
Nigga, that's supposed the hip hop world is supposed to be a culture to where it's able to help out our culture so we can build up what we got going on, not tear it down. That's what I'm analyzing, especially when you put real niggas in position to be able to be in the forefront. Listen to what I said. When you put real niggas in position to 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 have major access to those individuals that's in the high authority in the hip hop world. Because we not in the high authority in the hip hop world. And I want people to start understanding that and realizing that. Man, we are not in no major position. We don't own no distribution companies, homie. We don't own no major distribution companies. We don't own no big, we don't own no major record labels, homie. All the record labels that you hear these rappers say that they are independent. No, they are they music are being distributed by a major distribution company. So get that overstood and put that in your brain cell. They control this shit. So if you get in a position to be able to have hands-on contact with these individuals that's able to change these niggas' lives in our neighborhoods because we got to be realistic. Every nigga in the hood want to be a rapper now. Some nigga don't want to trap. Some nigga don't want to do rob. They don't want to do nothing. Nigga, if they can get in the motherfucking music game, a lot of them will change their lives, homie. But now you got a lot of them that ain't lived that certain life that when they do get in the music industry, what it does, it puts them in a position to where now they want to become professional street legends and gangsters and whatever it is that come with it, right? And I sit back and I watch these individuals, J Prince, and I'm watching Wack, and I'm saying to myself, we don't have to like each other, but let's not sit back and, 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 and put that label on each other, homie. You know what I'm saying? I had, I had to snap and realize that, nah, we ain't gonna put that label on each other, man. Because that's what everybody wants, because they gonna run with that narrative. You got people that's gonna run with whack narrative, and you got people that's gonna run with Jay Prince narrative. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it go. Then I come back, right? Well, Charleston White, listen, said he is a rat. He said he gonna call the laws on you, right? Now I'ma tell y'all something, homie. The definition of a rat is an individual that participate in criminal activity with another individual that's part of a criminal activity. And once one individual get caught up, what they do is they become an informant and we call them rats because they penetrate up under anybody that's doing something illegal and their job is to what? Give out that information. That's the definition of a rat. That's the definition of a rat. If a, if an individual that's a civilian that's not doing no crime, that's not doing nothing wrong, and his mom, his dad, whatever it is, in our community, right? Just think about what I'm finna say. If they sit there and they tell you, listen, if you do something in front of my motherfucking house, I'm gonna call the laws on you. Are they rats? If your mama seen something happen in front of her house and she tell the law exactly what happened, is she a rat? She's not part of no, she's not part of no, uh, how should I say this? She's not part of the uh, criminal activity. If your daddy get jumped on, he living there, he got a nine to five, he doing all what he's supposed to do. If something happened to him and he called the laws and tell them exactly what happened, 
is your daddy a rat? If that little boy is being bullied in school, taken advantage of, and he go and tell the teacher, is he a rat? Hmm. Let's ask ourselves, what's the definition of a rat? What's the definition of a rat? What's the definition of a real nigga? <laughs> when you having a conversation with anybody, the first thing you must you must ask them is, what are their definition of a real nigga? Everybody's definition ain't the same. I'm just giving y'all some, I'm just breaking it down to y'all because this is what's going on on the internet. Now, when y'all tell me y'all bring up a situation in a scenario and y'all say, well, this is what happened that made us say that this nigga is doing some ratting or this nigga is doing X, Y, and Z. What that does is that makes people go back and say, okay, he was part of a criminal activity and once he got caught, he did X, Y, and Z. Hey, that nigga's a rat, homie. He a rat. But when an individual tell you, I'm not part of none of that shit. If you fuck with me, I'm going to do what I gotta do to do what I gotta do. So we got to sit back and start realizing the, when we use these words, how they being used. And the nigga say, say, do, do you think Charleston White a rat? Well, then if Charleston White was a rat, why the paperwork ain't came out? That Charleston White put somebody behind balls. Why the paperwork ain't came out that Charleston White did X, Y, and Z? All you have is niggas from a whole nother state. They run their mouth and say, now nah, somebody named Luther said X, Y, and Z, but you the only nigga that got their information and you weighed in world, California. <laughs> Come on, homie. Let's keep it real. How can you know so much about something that goes on that's ratting and all that when you're not in the inner circle of what's going on? That's all I'm saying, man. And I just really wanted to get on here and, and elaborate on that because those words is being used. And when I heard Charleston say it, and I see how everybody be like, oh, look at what he said. See, he know how to say things because he know that y'all want to be so quote unquote real. And everybody want to use things like, well, uh, he going to call the laws. Man, when did real when did you so called G's and gangsters start worrying about if a nigga gonna call the motherfucking law? When did that come in effect? Nigga, if that's the case, nigga, we gonna stop all the crime in America because every nigga, every street nigga's telling the motherfucking laws everything they that's going on. So therefore, I tell everybody that's out here doing anything wrong, nigga. You gonna go to jail because if you think that the nigga that you went to it with, that this nigga's gonna uh, hold up or his mama or his dad or his partner them gonna hold up if you do something to him, man, no, man, he got people that's gonna tell on you. They gonna tell on you, my guy. So if that's the case, we, hey man, it shouldn't be no more crime unless you willing to go sit in the box for the rest of your life. Or are you willing to go sit in the box for the rest of your life? If you not willing to go do that, and if you not with that, you might need to stop worrying about doing something to somebody else, my guy. And that's just keeping it real. I heard something, and I'm going to say this, bro. Every time a nigga get into a misunderstanding with another nigga. The first thing come out their mouth is, nigga, I'm going to kill that nigga. That's how we think about each other, nigga. 
Oh, nigga, I'm, nigga, what? I'm gonna do this to that nigga. That's how we think about each other. That's the mindset that we done condition ourselves to make it seem like if we do something to him because he don't agree with what we got going on, that was going to make us a little bit harder. That's going to make us a little bit more tough. That's going to make us tougher. We're going to earn a strike. All I'm saying is keep it real, homie. Let's stop playing games. If I don't like you for whatever particular reason, let's be real on the reason why I don't like you. Let's, you know, I'm not going to put no label on you. But, nigga, if somebody was to tell me, check game, homie, I know what's happening. The nigga done got his house raided. And, uh, when, yeah, he got his house. Yeah, man, the nigga got his house raided, homie. And when he got his house raided, Shit, everybody was going to jail. They let him go outside and make a phone call to whoever. What? Now, we got to start thinking. That nigga, that ain't right because we don't, you don't do that. You get what I'm saying now, right? Come on, homie. Come on now. Let's keep it gang. Let's keep it all the way live now. Let's keep it real. <laughs> Yeah, so what I'm going to say is this here, before I end, right? Before I end this, I'm going to say this here. I want everybody to come on here right now. Y'all see what's going on. What's a rat? I just want y'all to be able to put down what's a rat. You hear me? That's it. I might be right, I might be wrong. But let me know what y'all think. The word is being used loosely all on Clubhouse where everybody just talking. But I ain't talking about what we can do to build up the culture in the community. We ain't talking about that. We just talking so we can be harder than the next individual. So we can be this and be that. Come my thing is this here, homie. And I'ma and I'ma say this and I'm gonna leave on that. All these individuals that's on the internet that's doing that, man, they got they got a big old big it's a big old plate, right? And guess what? They put a lot of food on their plate for their family. They got and they're just keeping it real. <laughs> Everybody ain't part of the fest. Everybody ain't part of the festival. Everybody ain't part of the the good eating. Everybody ain't part of that. Everybody just trying to get a part of it. Y'all catch it. So then don't play yourself out of position. Don't play yourself out of position when ain't nobody put you in a position. So think about that and let me know what y'all think about it. And I'm going to let y'all go. Go subscribe to the game-related podcast. A bunch of game being spilled. And I catch up with y'all in a sec. Hey, man, stay up, man.